buying off market, people think you just go on property pal and you just pick one from that and that's the be all and end all. Yeah. Yeah. No, talk to people, tell everybody what you're looking for. Um Tell them the areas you're looking for. Talk to random strangers in the street and tell them because you will find a house and you may not then have to bid on it. If you're walking about an area you like and it looks a bit dilapidated, you can go and find out from property services who owns it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. don't be shy about have you it. Have on them? Like, oh yeah, I'm cheeky. So, um, <laughs> Showing up, can I buy your house? <laughs> 100%. My little neighbour, Laura, she's like in her 80s and she said, to me, we were sitting outside one day and I was like, oh, she's going, we're going to miss you when you go. And I said, oh, I'd love to buy another one in the street oh, they never come up Carly I was like no no and then she was like see that one up there I think that it might be empty I saw somebody clearing it out obviously I was in work all week so I hadn't seen this and I went up and had a nosy through the window and it was empty <laughs> and I was like oh I'm constantly like I looked through a window last week and a woman was looking back at me and I was like oh hello I just like, sure. hear you <laughs> <laughs> so um, we made great friends and she might actually sell me her house now so there you go yeah. like you know I made a connection with her it's all about the connection with people um so she um i put i thought about it that night and i went i just imagine what? you driving through like an estate and seeing a movie van and you just slamming on the brakes <laughs> like holy shit do you know i was outside it and i thought um i phoned the estate agent they were like oh yeah there's a board there but you can't get in because the lady's moving out and i just thought yeah whatever i closed the door went down the driveway thinking it's empty it's definitely empty and then just put my head right up to the window and literally she was just standing looking at me and i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> hi she came to the door she was like you can't come in now and I was like no that's okay so stayed and like chatted to her and like you know yeah. made friends and we found out each other's name and all her problems and then she took me around the back and showed it off to me but who's that woman going to sell that house to now yeah, yeah. you know you yeah, come yeah. along and you offer her asking price and Carly comes along and asks her the offering yeah. price we've made friends yeah. said I'll help her out if she needs a <laughs> nice. van you know what I mean like yeah. just getting that but anyway back to the other one Laura said to me I think the house is empty and I went to the gym that night and I was thinking about that. I was like, frick it. Pulled a like, letter out of my daughter and wrote a really nice, say, hi, I live up the street and I'd be interested if you're selling this, um, if you would be, you know, interested in selling it to me, you put it through on Sunday. On Tuesday, I got a call in work saying, oh, yes, my um, great aunt passed away and we are clearing out her house. She didn't have any family but us. And if you're interested, you know, you can certainly come in and have a look. We were going to put it up with the state agent, so the pressure was on. Like the state yeah. agent was already, you know, enlisted. He said, She's they're coming tomorrow to take photos. If you want to call in on your way past, I thought yes, it's half nine. I'm on my way to work. That's great. Um, so I called in, liked it, came home, and I remember saying, "Oh my goodness, I'd, I'd, I'd buy it for 140." That was in my head. 140 would be a great price for it. And sorry, 160 would be a great price for it. I was like, 160 would be such a good price for that. And the girl called me, did you like it? I says, I did. What is it you're looking for? And she said, we're looking 140. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> so I was like okay, um, let me have You were just like, I could do 130. But <laughs> <laughs> I was so tempted, but it was such like, it has to be a win-win for like everybody. Now <laughs> 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 so we're saying who's cheap here. Yeah. It has to be, a, they have to be happy. You have to be happy. That's the thing. And that's when it comes to tradesmen. That's when it comes to buying the house. Anything. Yeah. It has to be a win-win for everybody. Um, so I thought, right, okay, yeah, 100% percent i would be. And the estate agent phoned me on the Thursday morning, said, do you want it for 140? I said, yes, I do. And that was still agreed. Now, that was from Saturday, from awesome. me talking to my neighbour. Mm. And I sold that house for 240. Mm. Jesus. You know, I suppose it benefits later. people too, maybe not in that instance, but to get it sold before they get to an estate agent because yeah. they don't have any fees or anything. Yes, like uh-huh. and also Very some awesome. people just don't want people in their house. They don't want photos of yeah. their neighbours to see. They're sometimes they're a bit ashamed and they're the houses you want to see because they don't look great or, yeah. you know, hoarders have been in them or, you know, there's something they just might be a bit secretive and they don't want pictures up for all their neighbours to be looking at on Property mm. Pal and they don't want, you know, people... Like traipsing in and out their house. Would you? Yeah. Would you rather? Would you rather sort of bypass? Well, obviously, use the estate agent for the actual selling of the property. But in terms of if you're buying, would you rather speak to the owner directly and try and bypass? If you're getting a bargain, yes. You know, estate agents are great. Like, I mean, they will help you navigate the whole process. And mm-hmm. I would always sell my house with an estate agent. But you know, if you're getting a bargain, and you're the thing is, estate agents open it up to so many more people. That yeah. estate agent comes along and puts it on property pal. Yeah, Aye. it's not just me saying it anymore. Yeah. So you're trying to get around that that yeah. frenzy of bidding for those yeah, areas. Yeah. 